Oh, a lot of you saw that Defying Gravity video of me floating in microgravity aboard a parabolic flight and wanted to know how exactly is that possible? How was I floating? Okay, let's get into it. So I was on a Boeing 727 plane that was flying in a parabolic path. So that means following a number of arcs in a pattern over the course of a flight. One of my flights was 15 parabolas, the other two I've been on have been 30 parabolas. And at the very top of that arc, the plane throttles off and continues to follow that path forward that it's already on. And you on board, your body also follows that path. And at that top of the arc, in relation to each other, you are experiencing microgravity. You are, in relation to the plane, floating. And essentially, yes, you are in a free fall, but you are being propelled forward at the top of that parabola. Once you get to the other side of that arc, the plane will throttle back up and then you'll experience 2G, two times of Earth's gravity on that way down and on the way back up again. So over the course of the flight, like I said, I was on one that was 15 parabolas and two that were 30. So you're able to experience about seven and a half minutes and 15 minutes respectively of microgravity in total. And the reason I was on board is microgravity research is conducted on many of these flights. Yes, you can go on board just to ride and flip and have fun, but a lot of researchers use those microgravity periods to be able to conduct research, uh, prepping things for space, international space station research, uh, and or doing research that can just directly benefit us back here on Earth, but you need to take gravity out of the situation to be able to study. So I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions about microgravity or these parabolic flights, feel free to comment.